East Bank Barbies residents recently commented on the announcement that the public road will be rehabilitated in March 2017. Shanice Beckles reports. East Bank Barbies residents are patiently awaiting promised relief for a more than two decades long issue regarding the rehabilitation of the East Bank Barbies public road. In a meeting with representative of the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Mr. Neil McKenzie, on Tuesday last, the official promised the residents that relief is underway, since works are scheduled to commence on the road shortly. Channel 8 News yesterday interviewed persons residing along the East Bank Barbies Public Road to get their feedback on the latest promise of the rehabilitation work to be done on the road. Prominent businessman in the area, Mr. Randolph Mars, noted that though skeptical about the information received, he is patiently waiting for the results. What's saying is that, all right, these, these new people, them, they gave you a promise that the road going to be done in March. So March is just a couple of days from now, right? And I think you should, we, we got to wait and see. In any case, we got to wait and see in March what going to take place. We ain't got no doubt about that. They, they mentioned that they're going to do the road. They're going to do the road in March. They're going to start the road in March. They even mentioned they're going to do it. They're going to start it. So we've got to wait and see. Um, have you ever heard a promise that the road project could have started sometime? Yeah, before? many a times. Many a times that they, you, you get promises from, from the previous government that the road will start and never start it. So that's why I'm claiming that I don't got to wait and see. I will wait, I face God for the live to see. I got to wait and see for, for my own self. Because promises been going on about the last ten years concerning this world. So there's the latest promise that we gotta wait and see what gonna take place. Higher car driver and resident of the East Bank area, Mr. Teddy Franz, said that though he is waiting for the outcome of the meeting, the East Bank Barry's residents have all heard the same empty promises for decades. Counting down because they don't count the days and they get it counting down. One day short to the days with them to read the twenty second to March and we counting down every day we counting down as driver because we feeling it. We got car parts expensive, gas in expensive coming out can't barely get a load of lightweight for this load day so and they can't pay off, you know what I'm saying? They gotta do something about the road and we wait, 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 wait. Even to the twenty second but they say we still studying if it's the truth. I remember we were for nearly 30 something years, we were in there, you know, next week, next month, and next year. And we, we still studying the 22nd Institute, but we're waiting and see, because we ain't doing nothing. We wait until the 22nd and see. We know there's no protest, we ain't doing nothing. We wait until the 22nd and see, and right now we counting down. We counting down the days all the time. Elderly resident and representative of the community, Mr. Samuel Mono, in an invited comment made these remarks. The 22nd of March to me is significant because in the past we were only given promises but we were never given dates. There is a change now that there is a fixed date when on or before this project will begin. But I must admit that it had been something that frustrated, aggravated the members of this community because previous governments made promises they were never fulfilled. We are hoping that this one sticks and I have confidence that it will. As a member of the, or a representative of the people in this community, I have first-hand knowledge of what ought to be done, what not when it will be done. Now that we give given a date, I have more confidence that they will carry out the plan. Mr. Mona disclosed that the hiccups which led to the much-needed rehabilitation of the road to be stalled had strong political influences and interferences. It was even mooted that one contractor overpriced the road and when this was discovered and the information went to the IDB there was a change and this is what perhaps caused the changes to occur over time. The East Bank Burbies residents are patiently awaiting March 22nd when works are scheduled to commence.
Shinny's Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.